Thank you, Chris, and good afternoon. Extracom is a designer and manufacturer of advanced wireless LAN infrastructure for the enterprise. Today, you will see something that has never before been done, a technology that takes a standard Wi-Fi radio channel and triples its capacity. And you will see this live on a system that we've deployed right here in this ballroom. But first, a little background. Whenever we talk about wireless, we think about three fundamental things. Coverage, where can I communicate? Mobility, will I have an always-on secure connection as I move? And capacity, how many users can a system support without congestion? All three of these elements are critical for the success of a wireless LAN infrastructure in an enterprise. Extracom's first product addressed the first two, coverage and mobility. And while that product is in and of its itself a uh, market innovation, today we will take it simply for granted as it lays the foundation for the demonstration you're about to see. Today's focus is a technology that addresses the ever-increasing hunger for bandwidth, and we call this technology true reuse. So, since a picture is worth a thousand words, let's go to the screen. What we have deployed in this room is a uh, wireless LAN system with six access points. They are distributed around the perimeter of the room, and you see them mapped on this uh, floor plan. The six access points are connected back to a central switch, and one single channel will be utilized system-wide to serve three clients. Our clients will be three laptops that are currently sitting on the, to the right of you uh, in front of the stage. These are laptops with standard Wi-Fi technology, no proprietary technology, nothing extra needed for true, true reuse to do its job. So let's turn the system on and have the clients join the wireless. As the laptops join the system, you will see something that you'd expect out of any wireless LAN, uh, LAN implementation, and that is the single channel is capacity is being shared evenly by the three clients. As a starting baseline, you can see the performance dashboards of each client. Each client has a speedometer and a graph to help us visualize the performance capacity, the capacity performance that they are experiencing. As a starting point, each client is currently being served with seven megabits per second of capacity for a total aggregate channel of 21. Now, as the clients begin to move around the ballroom, we're going to see the first departure from the conventional. Notice that as they move, the green lines represent which access point is serving which client. And as they roam around the area, the performance of the capacity that each client experiences stays essentially stable and, and consistent and persistent. This points to robust coverage and truly seamless mobility Noteworthy performance that unfortunately is not the standard for today's wireless LAN. Now, we have seen one channel supporting all three services, all three clients, with steady performance, but only one channel is worth the capacity still. And this is where true reuse comes in. So let's turn true reuse on and see what happens. If you look at the performance dashboard once again, you'll see that each individual client's performance has now tripled from 7 megabits per second to 21 megabits per second per user for a total aggregate capacity for the channel of 63 megabits per second. What we have essentially done is taken one physical radio channel, provided its entire capacity to each individual client. This is the effect of true reuse, to, take, to transform and create three channels worth of capacity out of one. Clearly, this dramatic increase in performance for the enterprise means more users, more wireless computing, more phone calls, more of anything that they need to use the wireless system for. I also need to point out that we've accomplished this entirely inside the confines of this ballroom. Three, you, three times reuse of a channel in such a concentrated area with the coverage and mobility that you have just witnessed is simply not feasible with today's wireless line architectures. So why all the focus on capacity? Because fundamentally, every user never seems to have enough, and because for Wi-Fi to be viable on large-scale deployments for enterprises, whether it be for covering a whole hospital or a university campus, that infrastructure must have sufficient capacity to support every employee and every type of user and every use that that user will demand of the wireless, including bandwidth-intensive applications such as voice over Wi-Fi, streaming data, and video. True use can be applied to every type of, of Wi-Fi channel, be it 802.11a, b, g, and the forthcoming n. And it, of course, can be applied 
to multiple channels so that the amplification of capacity is even greater. We could have six times the capacity with two channels, nine with three, and so on. True reuse finally puts the enterprise on the path to the long talked about gigabit wireless LAN. So gigabit wireless LAN, robust coverage, seamless mobility, these are the things that will change the game for wireless enterprise. Finally, this is wireless, that it has wired-like performance, has the capacity to support every application the enterprise needs, and is dramatically simpler to deploy and maintain than the alternatives. In conclusion, an appeal to the power of your pen and the insight of your research to help the entire enterprise community know what this technology can do for them and that they can confidently finally cut the cord. We hope you will join us at Station 43. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening.